Hey guys, what it is with my keys back after almost a week. Now, this is a beauty, really. Like the only beauty, but it's the beauty of having a channel not a whole lot of people watch. You are not set to a freaking schedule. You do videos and whatever the crap you want to do, but that's what I do now. So anyway, today I am following an interesting new format. It may be the only day I'll do this, but today I'm doing this. What I'm doing is I came with nothing prepared today to talk about. Today is open mind day. I'm just going to talk. I don't know what I'm going to say. That's what's going to be so fun about this experience. I'm just going to start talking about crap. So with that in mind, I still don't know what I'm going to say. So, ooh, five, four, three, two, one, go. Let's see what's on Mikey's brain out today. So, I see a bus over there going over to another building. I'm at a um, tech center waiting for my son to get out of school. Got me thinking about when I used to take the bus when I was uh, early 20s. Used to take a bus to work every day. That was kind of before my mental illness really hit. I mean, I had anxiety, but it wasn't horrible. And I could actually like get a, wait wait for a bus, sit on that bus for a good half hour, forty minutes, going to work, work my day, get back on the bus, go out and wait. Ride the bus all the way home. Now, these days, I would have a very difficult time doing that because of all the claustrophobic issues and all the anxieties and such that I have developed that are even worse than back then over my lifetime. That's why I don't ride the bus. I don't take the train because I am too petrified of them now. Very interesting. I've been thinking a lot about that actually, taking that bus. I used to work during Christmas time at the mall. That's where I was going for my job. I've told you guys this, I think. I loved Christmas time at the mall. And taking the bus to work was just kind of like what I did, you know. I, like most people probably, I didn't really like think about it. I didn't get too upset. I went in and put my quarters in the thing or nickels, dimes, whatever the hell it was. I put all that stuff in there, and off I went, and didn't think a second thought about it. And by the way, I'm very happy that that's the case. So, next thing comes to mind, for some reason, this is going to be fun. I came home from my church mission on December 4th. I'm coming up on that. You see, I think maybe why I was thinking about that is because I went right from the mall right to my mission and came back home right before Christmas, two years later. So, yeah, so I'm coming up on my 20, I came home in 92, 26th year of being home from my mission. I actually found a VCR tape. I went and bought a VCR player at a discount store, we call it DI here. Um, it's kind of like a um, Savers or... Um, Goodwill type of store. I went and found a VCR player to replace my broken one. This was probably a month ago. Got one for five bucks. And I found my tape I took the night before I came home from my mission. That was really interesting to see myself 26 years ago. I wasn't as fat, even though I'm slimming down. A lot skinnier. A lot more naive and immature, I will say that, watching that video. I mean, obviously, I looked different 26 years ago, but the changes mentally are amazing. So I would advise you, if you can, go back and watch some old videos or watch some old camcorder material if you're old like me. Go back and watch some old VCR. See, when I was on my mission, when I filmed that tape, we had a big A VCR camcorder. The, the camera I used was so big and heavy, 
it took a full-size VCR tape. Some of you may not even know what a VCR tape is, but, you know, plastic tape about so big. That would actually fit into the machine and record it right on the player. The thing was, like, serious. Like, this big and fat. Giant microphone on the end of it. Very heavy to carry. Oh, how times have changed. So anyway, yeah, I was watching that. I'll watch it again on my 26th the anniversary day. My mission president died. The guy who was running my little church mission died this year. So maybe it'll bring on a little more significance. Very interesting. My next thought. Yeah, that's kind of fun. I just grabbed my chest, if you notice, with my left hand. When I feel my blood pressure is getting kind of high, for whatever reason, I tend to rub my chest right there like it's going to make it feel better or something. The last couple days, I have felt like my blood pressure is high again. Um, kind of sucks because, like, I had been feeling really good until, like, really good until the last couple days. Well, for a couple weeks, you know, before all the changes with the new guy and all. But, like, but I actually felt real... So, anyway, um, just finishing that thought. Let me know if you have any weird things you do like that. Like, rubbing my chest is probably not going to, like, help my blood pressure. But, for some reason, I just do it. So, let me know if you have any weird quirks out there of things that you might do like that. Or rubbing your stomach when you got a stomach ache. I guess that's a pretty standard one. So, another thing happened last night eating pizza. The pizza got stuck in my throat, and it was hard to swallow, and I thought of something the cog was telling me. You can tell me, cog, what's that thing called? Because you get them too, I guess. Where you swallow, and it really hurts when it's going down. And I think it's stress-related, because it's really interesting when I swallow... Like, I almost, like, get a mental thing, like, oh, crap, it's going to get stuck in there. And then every time I think that way, it does. So then it hurts really bad for a couple seconds, and then I have to drink something, and it goes the rest of the way down. It's a muscle spasm of some degree, I think. Let me know what that is, Mr. Cog. So... Looking around, it's an, actually one of the warmer days we've had... For a while, it's actually probably close to 50 degrees. I mean, it seems like it was just yesterday. It was like freaking 105 degrees. But man, we hit cold. Boom. When that hurricane blew through, um, south of us mostly, but some of the rain and stuff came up here. We've been, that's been a good month at least. We have been in a cold pattern, it seems like, ever since. So, anyway, pretty nice sunny day today. Um, it's interesting how the the sun moves further and further to the south, and we get less and less light, obviously. The angles of the reflections and stuff. So, the next topic, because I'm just shooting about there, Halloween. Have any of you noticed that less trick and, and treating is going on these days? I hear that it is a thing now to go to parties instead of trick-or-treating and that this stupid trunk-or-treat crap. Interesting thing about people going to parties more now than trick-or-treating is that's kind of how trick-or... That's kind of how Halloween in America started. It actually was... Mostly, and I know if you've watched my History of Halloween video, which a couple people did, it talks about how Halloween started mostly with parties. It wasn't a whole lot of trick-or-treating going down. It was a lot of parties for older people. And that seems to be becoming the case again. Um, a lot of people, I guess, are doing parties. Took the kids out. In my area, not a whole lot of people at all went around. And I've been hearing in a lot of areas that less and less kids are trick-or-treating. Which really sucks. I mean, let's be real. The loss of our uh, holiday traditions is getting really sad. That these kind of things are disappearing. Trick-or-treating was some of the greatest memories I had as a kid. 
Okay, so the next thought I have real quick, I went into a place called Spirit Halloween a couple weeks ago and almost passed out while looking at the Michael Myers figure, but don't really want to talk a lot about that. I want to talk about one of the costumes I found at Spirit Halloween. I actually found a costume that was the greatest costume I've ever seen. <laughs> I don't know if I'm being serious or not. You see, the costume was called Skele Boner. That's right. It was a costume of a skeleton. They had a freaking dick you can inflate to become a boner. And I'm not lying. It was called Skele Boner. So I should have got some video of it. I think I was too worried about passing out because that whole time there, I thought I was going to go, whoo! down to the ground all right guys with the skeleton boner i am out of time for the day i'm gonna wrap this up i hope you're all good please leave comments likes sub if you haven't let me know about some of today's topics and what you think of the idea all right ciao